So we're here at Supercomputing 16 demonstrating the Algologic key value store. And so this is a database that's running in an FPGA card. So first of all, what is Gateware? So Gateware is a hybrid between hardware and software. So Gateware is applications that run in field programmable gate array devices. And so you can kind of think of Gateware to an FPGA hardware device as software is to a CPU. Because it's an application, Gateware is an app that runs in the FPGA the same way that a software program runs in a CPU. So Gateware defined networking is building applications that run in the network and do some of the data plane processing with an FPGA. So Algologic builds Gateware defined networking IP cores and applications. And so as I mentioned, Gateware is programmable like software, but it's compiled into parallel logic. And so we can look at, for example, parallel logic that's routed and placed in the gates on an FPGA. They look like little islands of logic. And so these islands are, the IP cores are implementing the logical function, the combinatorial state machines and finite automata that are in the logic design but being mapped to the FPGA. Now in the data center, we've got volumes of networking data. We need to search through streams of data and we need to switch on packets that are typically transporters or ethernet and IP packets. And so in the data center, we have top of rack switches that can carry terabits per second of bandwidth over standard ethernet. And by attaching FPGAs to the data center, we can implement gateway defined networking where we can get some microsecond processing of data. We can be deterministic about how long it takes to process that data. We can get throughput that's hundreds of gigabits per second and but still have the ability to reprogram this so as new applications come along, we can reprogram the apps to do new functions. So Algologic has a number of gateway defined networking products. And so at our bait core is the IP cores themselves. So we have IP cores that do the Mac, the TCP, protocol parser, applications like order book building that all run as IP cores on the FPGA. Uh, typically, we can combine multiple IP cores into a pre-programmed application for an FPGA and so we can route this onto different FPGA devices and have different functions that are a combination of the pre-built IP cores combined together to build a chip level design that runs on the FPGA. Uh, these chip level functions are then are put on, run on standard off-the-shelf FPGA cards. And so we work with many vendors that make many different types of FPGA cards and our apps have been ported to run on the Altera or Xilinx devices that are on these FPGA cards. These FPGA cards are standard form factor PCI Express cards that fit into an integrated server. And so you can have the FPGA card fit into a server the same way any other I.O. card does. So then typically the servers then are scaled out. And so in a data center, instead of having just one system, is that we scale this out with multiple servers. And so we're also working with Intel on the MCP system. And the Intel system has a multi-socket system where the FPGA is actually on the socket with the CPU. And so as you scale out the systems, you also scale out the FPGAs. And then these systems get deployed into the data center as racks of sys servers, and they also get sent to co-location facilities where that next to the stock exchange, for example, that these servers are performing stock trading functions in hardware.